When you're working with several people to produce a large project like a magazine, it's really handy to use something called an InDesign template. It looks and acts just like a regular InDesign file, except that it is a protected InDesign document. It can't be overwritten by accident. It will include things like your paragraph, character and object styles, your brand colours, and it will include your master pages, which have all of your grid system incorporated into it. So that when you need to add a new article or a new section to your magazine, you or anybody in your team can open up a copy of that template and start building that section of the magazine with the full confidence of knowing that the colours and the styles are exactly as they should be. And you're not going to get any nasty surprises on deadline day. So the way you go about creating that template is develop one InDesign document with all that content in. When you feel like it's at a point where it can be captured as a template, you can go to the file menu and choose save as. Now I'm going to head out of my working folder into the main Esquire folder in the example I have here. And then I'm going to go to a folder called templates. So you could call this anything you wish to. I might call this the Squire brand, but down at the bottom under format, we will change it this time to an InDesign template. And then I'll click on save. If you take a look at the document tab, it now reads esquirebrand.indt, meaning that this is now an InDesign template, not like your regular InDesign document. Now I would suggest at this point, close this file down and then if I go back to the file menu and choose open, if anybody in your team then wishes to create another section or a new article, then they can go back to that same file, the InDesign template. The default option now is that we'll open up what's called normal. This is a copy of that template, not the original. So there's no danger of editing accidentally the original template file. Incidentally, if you did want to make changes to that template file at some point in the future, then you will click on the open original option, but otherwise leave it as is and then click on open. As you can see from the document tab at the top left, this file is called untitled two. So this is a copy and you could just develop this file, remove the existing content, replace it for new material. And then at some point, say this is a regular InDesign document, which will then become part of your larger magazine project. And that's how you create InDesign templates so that everybody in your magazine team is consistently producing the same visual content.